In the 90s, the 16-bit console war between the Sega Genesis Mega Drive and the Super NES from Nintendo is in full swing. Comparison, exclusives game, add-ons, enhancement chip, even the size of the game is pushed at the marketing weapon if you want to know if you're way cool or if you're Nintendo. But as Cicero said, endless money is a sinew of war, and to keep the cash flowing, both of them went to different revisions of their respective hardware, cutting every time they could in the manufacturing process. Nintendo made invisible changes on its console if you don't open it, until the SNES Jr. Sega made more or less subtle visual changes, going through the VA1 to the VA7 for the Model 1. But in 1993, Sega made a drastic change with the Model 2. It was smaller with stereo output, but without the headphone jack like the Model 1. The console was made around simpler design, smaller form factor, and by such reducing the production cost. Unfortunately, this is where the cutting cost starting to impact the quality of the console, especially on the sound's output. In fact, starting at the VA7 of the Model 1 and the first revision of the Model 2, Sega changed the sound circuits, and this time built it around the Yamaha YM3438, and it was awful. The sounds feel distorted like a bad emulator if you want some comparison. After realizing their mistake, Sega went back to a discrete Yamaha YM2612 starting to the second revision of the Model 2, improving drastically the sound quality but still under what the early revision of the Model 1 was capable of. With this technical background in mind, Ace and Velahead 94 create the Mega Amp, a universal audio amplifier designed to replace the circuits of your Genesis Mega Drive and recreate the sound quality of the original design. But due to the limitation of the chosen op-amps in the design at that time, the volume level were limited to those of the Model 2 VR0. Three years later, they create the Mega Amp 2, which was a simpler design, dual amp with built-in headphone driver so you can have the clearest sound possible for your console. The design allows different kind of filter and filter setup to match your taste. Even if you can create a simple version, they also provided a circuit for the Pro version, which allows the Sega CD audio mixing and CD path through. We are going to talk about the Pro today. So this is uh, the PCB of the prototype. You can see the two op amps here with all the uh, uh, input outputs. So uh, for the 32x uh, uh, Mega CD. Uh, Yamaha and all the output mono and stereo so you can see there's already some patch here this is because after uh, uh, being uh, asked uh, uh, Ace about if my design was okay uh, he told me uh, that the uh, 220 microfarad uh, for the mono and the two um, the mono here and the two output left right here uh, was not really um, uh, was designed for headphones and not for um, lightning grade so he, he told me to replace them uh, with uh, 47 microfarad and uh, 330 uh, ohms uh, resistor in uh, in series for all of them so this is the prototype the version I'm going to put on uh, github will be the revision 2 the revision 2 is a bit smaller To give you an idea, this is the design of the Revision 2, this is the Revision uh, 1.2, I guess, yeah, it, uh, no, Rev1, Rev1, so this is the Rev1, the prototype, and this is the revision I'm going to put on GitHub, this is exactly the same design, but slightly uh, smaller, with already uh, the patch on the 220 uh, microfarad, to give you an idea uh, of the size, because it's uh, difficult to see uh, on just uh, the camera. Uh, this is uh, the Voltar uh, RGB bypass. So it's roughly, uh, uh, slightly less than two. And uh, I would say something like, uh, yeah, 30% smaller than the prototype. And if you want, Real measure. Yeah, it's uh, around 40 millimeter. So three centimeter. Um, 
yeah, 35 millimeters, so 3 centimeter, 0.5. So it's really, really smaller. So if you check on the back of the PCB, uh, you can see uh, you got a different resistor and capacitor uh, for what you want. You get also the explanation. Uh, like uh, if you have already some resistor on your um, on your console, you have to omit them or plus them, especially for the Sega CD and the 32X uh, input. Uh, you've got all the capacitor value if you want an unfiltered, mixed filtered, or full filtered sound with the value of the capacitor with the, with their uh, designation. Uh, also, if you have a VA1 or a VA, uh, VA1 or VA1.8, uh, you've got like some uh, um, transistor you can omit a full circuit. On the revision 2, this one is a prototype again. On the revision 2, you get just one um, uh, solder pad to bridge. Uh, this On this prototype, you have to put big bridge. Um, to to avoid uh, to power uh, to power it to bypass it, so it's well a bit chunky, but it's uh, it's uh, supposedly with all this indication you are covering all the different uh, revision uh, like the YM uh, 2612, uh, the discrete or the ASIC uh, YM uh, 3438, and the GOAC uh, the GOAC is for um, the model 3 if I remember correctly so this is a populate one so this one is uh, pre-configured for uh, full filtered sound uh, and uh, already um, uh, well not configured but prepared for a VA1 or a VA1.8 uh, uh, installation so I don't need a transistor here and here I already bridge the, the circuits again it won't be necessary it will be way more easy uh, on the uh, version you're gonna, gonna you're gonna have on the on github and as you can see they are missing some resistance here because it's already on the console and um, there and uh, c90 and c80 are for the filtering as long as the C7 and C8, uh, those two one. Uh, so it's uh, already configured for filter. And uh, after that, it's just like install all those wire uh, and the power in the ground, the side plus five volts here in the ground. Uh, so I'm, for the installation, it's uh, it really depends on which uh, revision of the console you're going to install. I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's really uh, easy. I'm going to show you. If you check on the Sega 16 uh, forum, you're going to see like for each version, uh, you got some uh, capacitor to remove, uh, some uh, resistance to uh, remove here, here, and bridge, and some uh, here is, a, is going to be the wire you're going to, to use. It's really well detailed. Uh, it's just remove some caps, uh, remove some uh, some resistor, solder some jump, and that's it. It's not really com complicated. So this is an installed version. This is a VA 1.8, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, don't pay attention. I've already put a DFO with uh, an, an RGB light. Uh, I got some wires uh, going under that to. Uh, uh, select the uh, region but anyway if you see uh, I uh, like the uh, explanation I, I put some bridge here and here uh, because you don't need your uh, the resistor resistor here anymore I put my input here I, re I uh, change all the resistor here I remove all the uh, three um, I think it's at the Left. Yeah, this is the left uh, input, and this there and behind those wire because 
yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, there, there, it's supposed to be a capacitor. Uh, there, there, behind that. So everything, all of that, are input. And I've tried to keep everything tied in order so you can use uh, a wire strip. And you got the mono output here. Mono output here. So this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just working really great. Like on the Sega logo, on uh, when you pick up a ring in Sonic, all the sound on uh, Super Fridge are really, really, uh, really way better. You can you, you can really hear it uh, without having a super hearing or something. Um, I'm going to put everything on GitHub. The next revision of this one, smaller, already uh, optimized, no uh, no patch like that. Uh, another thing, the um, op-amp used on the description uh, on Sega 16, on the trend of on, on Sega 16 of the Mega uh, Mega M2, uh, is not available anymore. It's already on uh, end of life on DigiKey. So I ask and Firebrand X answer me for a drop-in replacement so I'm going to put that uh, on the list of the, com uh, the components you need uh, so that's it, so I'm going just to put some um, uh, sample difference between uh, the bad revision of the sound and the mega amp uh, courtesy uh, from uh, Ace uh, and uh, yeah that's it, I think, um, I think it's pretty cool, let me know if you really want to see an installation I don't think it's really needed, it's really really straightforward, also it depends on the console you have, so everything is really well explained on the Sega 16 forum, I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, you like it and uh, thanks for watching.